Hello. Uh, this is. I'm gonna classify this as a tension reviews Ghost Criterion, even though I'm doing a general DVD update. But most of them are Criterions, like over half of them. So I'm just gonna start out with the regular stuff first. That's not a Criterion that I got recently. Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban on Blu-ray. Someone just said you should get it, and I was like, you know, I really need it. This is my favorite Harry Potter film, and it's the only one I didn't have on Blu-ray. I don't know why. My collection just works like that. Works like that. I didn't get it at the time it came out, so I just never got it. All the other ones I got like when they came out. Like so. Another one I got was I've been collecting these sets: The Twilight Zone season two, which is really exciting for me to get. I've not watched any of these yet. Um, Stranger than Fiction. I've I've seen this movie a lot, and. Uh, I've seen this movie many times, and I never, I always wanted to get it, and I finally got this, it's the Blu-ray Special Edition. Finally, but definitely not least, last, but definitely not least, well not last, but the, in the regular DVDs I got, Ben Knobs and Broomsticks, which is actually one of my favorite films. I love it. I don't know what it is about it, but I love this film. Everyone should check it out. Next... We have, oh, I'm going right into my Criterions at this point. The Seventh Seal on Blu-ray. This is wonderful. It's a white disc. And there's, and there's almost no, like, art back here, except for when you open up the disc. You take out the disc, there's some art back there. And this also comes with a, the, like, 80 or 90 minute documentary called Bergman Island. Which is, like, him going back to, I forget what the name of the island is, but... He filmed Seven Seal and a lot of his most famous works there at the island, and, uh, sh no, doesn't say. Yeah, so, there it is. It's something Auro or something. Beauty and the Beast, uh, um, the French one, not the Disney one, obviously. This is a beautiful artwork, I really love it. There's the booklet, behind the booklet, there's some... Chapter listings. Really awesome. And a lot of these were gotten in the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale, so I don't just... I, none of these were bought full price, actually. Danny Alexander. The box set, which comes with the making of Danny Alexander, as well as the television version and the theatrical version. The theatrical version comes with a commentary. They all come in se separate digibook packs like this. It's really awesome. I saw, I watched the television version. I'm really, really, probably one of the best films I've ever seen. It's amazing. Everybody should see it. Uh, another Bergman, Scenes from a Marriage, which I have seen three out of the six. I'm, I always like to watch the television versions because they're longer. And, like, I feel like I'm missing out or something. And they're usually, like, the director's preferred version. Because Bergman wanted to release them in theaters, but, like, they're, like, five hours long. So they won't let him do it. But the television version, I watched the first three out of the six episodes. I'm still, I'm going to get to the other episodes. But what I've seen is great. Next is Jean-Luc Godard's The Band of Outsiders, or A Band Apart. Which is great, and it, it heavily influenced the, um, uh, what's his name? Bartolucci's film, The Dreamers. And they reenact scenes from this. Like the running to the Louvre scene, it was a really great movie. I saw it. I Netflix it a while ago, and it's, and it's actually cheaper than most Criterion, so we decided to pick it up. Next is Tarkovsky's Solaris, which is um, really, I actually watched this one, like last week. I really thought it was very interesting. I don't know how many times I'm going to rewatch it again. I'm actually very interested to check out the commentary on this one, because I, could, I, I find it very interesting to hear what they're going to say about it. Next we have... Christoph Kieslowski's Christoph Kieslowski's The Double Life of Veronique. I've seen I've not seen this one yet. I want to watch it maybe tonight. I'm really eager to see it. Um I, I don't know. It's kinda like like um cream caramelish sort of colored artwork. It isn't extremely interesting, but who cares? It has a huge booklet, like really big. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see on camera that the, um, oh, it's kind of like impossible. 
whatever. Next we have uh, Louis Mallet film. A revoir les enfants. I think that's how you say it. Les enfants. Psst. Les enfants. Whatever. I've seen this movie on Netflix Instant when it was on Netflix Instant. I don't know. There's no commentary on this. I wouldn't have gotten it if it wasn't like $20. Um, there's no commentary on this. I really like the movie. The booklet is small. I didn't know. I didn't know that prior. I knew there was no commentary prior, and there's no internal artwork, which there usually almost always is for these criterions, which is weird. Next is the Life Aquatic with Steve Zazu, which I actually just got on Amazon.com for like seven dollars, new. And it, and I expected it not just to be like this and not come with this. I was extremely pleasantly surprised that this whole thing is intact and it was that cheap. It's ridiculous. I've not I've seen like half of the movie. What I've seen I liked a bit. But I have the Royal Tenenbaums and I'm happy to have this one now with the slip cover. And most criterions don't come with slip covers. Only like the Wes Anderson ones do. Next is that movie I've not seen. It's directed by Nicholas Ray, who also directed Rebel Without a Cause. That's bigger than life. And I actually did not get this one. I picked this one up in a Barn, um, Borders closing sale for 50% off. So I still got it for 50% off, even though not at the Barnes & Noble sale. And, of course, there is some internal artwork in this one. Yeah, it's You can't really see the background, but there's a chapter listing here. You can't really see what's in the background, but there's something there. And on Bigger Than Life, it says, play, Pain and course, Cortisone. That's weird. Bigger Than Life, it's kind of a cool design. You can't really see it. Uh, it's like reddish. It's a really cool design on the on the um, booklet. Last, but not least, I just got this in the mail today. John Travolta in Brian De Palma's Blowout. And, as almost always, there is some... Uh, artwork inside. One thing that left me a little upset is that there's only 16, well, 17 chapters in a 108 minute film. Like, really. Like, look at this. This is bigger than life. Let me go back. Let's see how many chapters there are in this film. There's like 20. And that's a 95 minute film. And this is like over a 100 minute film. And there's only like 16. The 17 is colored bars, which doesn't really count kind of made me a little bit upset, because I like being able to, I don't know, I just like it. And like, um, because what they do, especially, there is a commentary on this disc, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's not. No. Well, it doesn't matter as much. But a lot of times with, um, a commentary on a Blu-ray disc, like they, um, at every chapter mark, they tell you what they're talking about in the commentary, which is really awesome and really useful. Yeah, but there's not even a commentary on this, so. It's not the biggest deal, but it would be nice to have more chapters, you know. Like, I get annoyed with a film like Magnolia, which has, like, it's like a three-hour film and has maybe six, ten, six to ten chapter markers. But whatever. Enough on that. Those are all the films I got. Let's see if we can pick them all up and then go. Ah! Ugh, this is, like, the biggest DVD spending month ever for me, because I've been working and stuff. So lots more money spent on DVD. And, uh, that's that. See you next time on Tenshire Ghost Criterion.